Hello, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video for me, which is my nursing school haul. So um, keep in mind, this is just for my specific program that I'm gonna be in, but these are the things that I have been slowly accumulating and getting together. I think some things were required, some things weren't. Um, and so let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, when you're in nursing school, um, you have to wear scrubs. So I'm just gonna start with that. Uh, these are the scrubs I have. Our scrubs for our school are navy blue. Um, I got a size medium, if anybody is wondering. I'm like 5'9-ish, and so the, I didn't need to get longs, and they were like $24.99 for the Authentic Cherokee Workwear Core Stretch Scrubs. So these are um, basic. I got two different kinds to kind of see what I liked. One set of scrubs has like the front pocket here and then the cargo pocket, and then my other pants have um, front pockets here and then back pockets instead of the cargo. So those are my scrub uh, pants and I got two of the same tops. These are them right here, also in a medium. And my scrub tops were $21.99, so 22 bucks. Um, it's really cool, the place that I bought my scrubs at, we had to go to a specific place to get the right scrubs for our school. Um, but the place was like, having like a grand reopening type thing, and so I got 20% off my purchase, which was awesome. So I got my scrubs, which was required. We also needed a watch with a, an analog watch with a second hand, so I just typed in on Amazon, watch for nursing students, and uh, this guy came up, and it's just kind of like a rainbow colored face, which is kind of fun, white, um, showed the date on there, it was like $20, so not bad, it's waterproof or resistant, up to 100 meters so that'll be nice I also can wear this you know like my husband's a youth pastor so I go on youth trips and stuff so I think this will just be a great everyday watch for that um, the next thing that was required which this was my most expensive purchase was my stethoscope this guy I did a lot of research um, I watched some videos of other people who are nursing students and um, I looked up reviews again I got this on Amazon anything that's really um, not like specific to my area, like the scrubs I had to go in store to get and like school supplies, but like most everything else I got on Amazon. Um, the Amazon reviews were saying like, you know, there's different kind of types of stethoscopes you can get and I just needed a single tube um, stethoscope for my program and they suggested spending anywhere from 40 to to $100 on your stethoscope. So I ended up choosing the Litman Classic um, yeah, the Litman Classic 3 in the color Caribbean Blue. So it's like this kind of pretty dark teal color. And it was about $80. And the thing that kind of sold me on it was the fact that everybody on Amazon was saying, get this death scope, it's worth spending. You know, the, I think I was looking at the number two and it was like, $30 less or something and honestly people are saying this is a stethoscope that is just supreme um, Acoustic quality you can hear sounds much better and since I'm going to be learning I want to learn on something that I can really hear what I'm learning and not try to struggle with my equipment So started with this guy it came with um, Or like a replacement cover for one of these these come off. They're kind of like these covers I was reading about what they do, but I don't really know necessarily like it helps you um, change the frequency of the sounds and the replacement ear covers in this nice box which I'm just gonna leave it in until I start my program. So yeah my stethoscope which I'm super excited and then something else that I decided to get after watching nursing school videos are people that are saying um, uh, a cuff for to take people's arm uh, an arm cuff to take people's blood pressure was super nice to have because uh, in school you get to practice people are saying but you don't really get to um, like practice at home and it's not that much and you test it on it a lot so sorry I'm just gonna open this so I got um, this blood pressure cuff and it's just pretty basic it's the adult size see here, here and it also came in a nice case so this will be nice so I can just practice on my friends and family and my coworkers. And um, it also came with a little light, so it's just one of those you just press this down and the light turns on. So um, just a little eye light for, to measure pupils and stuff. So that was something I didn't need to get, but it was only $20 and so I felt like it was something really valuable to have. And especially like I said, <laughs> my husband is in youth ministry and honestly we have a lot of times with students where something happens or a medical emergency and so I just figured it might be something nice to take along with trips just to have it. Hopefully we won't ever need it, but I have it. Alright, so I think that's all of my like 
gonna be on me or wearing type supplies. I don't have my shoes yet. That was one thing that I was kind of um, confused about with our requirements. So our shoes, it says that white or black non-porous um, slip resistant shoes are preferred. However, I have a lot of friends who've been in nursing school and they wear running shoes and I have extremely bad plantar fasciitis from waiting tables for the last eight, nine years. And so um, I'm hoping to wear running shoes to nursing school because they just help my feet so much more than like non-slip shoes like I have for waiting tables. Um, but they're only, like you're, they're gonna cover uniform and stuff like that on Monday of our first week of class. Our like orientation day is our first day of school, the 18th of September. And so I just decided to um, wait about the shoes. I have black non-porous non-slip shoes from waiting tables that I know I can wear if I need to um, for nursing school that first week of trying to figure out what shoes I can wear and what's gonna work best for me. So I don't have my shoes yet, um, but know that I'm planning on wearing running shoes if I can. If I can't, I will try to find some good non-slip shoes. Um, I, which I have yet to find any really good ones for plantar fasciitis for uh, my um, waiting tables. So hopefully I'll find something. If any of you guys have great suggestions, I've tried dance goes and I hated them. Um, that was my recommendation from my doctor. And they hurt my feet so bad. Um, so those are a no-go. But if you have any other options for great non-slip shoes, I would highly appreciate them. So now uh, off of uniform and supplies in that sense, I'm going to go into books. So books were crazy like how many books I bought so far I still have one coming in the mail but I just wanted to film this video I've been waiting like weeks for them all because I've ordered them all off Amazon I was I've always just bought my books through my school because it's been like bundle deals where our lab book our practice sheets our textbook are all in there and it's like only $30 more to buy it from the school as opposed to just ordering it off Amazon so I've just always done that I've always bought my textbooks because um, first and foremost renting freaks me out in the sense of like messing books up <laughs> because I've like spilled things on books you know like late night study sessions and you have coffee or something gets on the books I just don't want to deal with that and then I also um, like to write in them sometimes like put sticky notes and markers and all those different things and I actually am really glad I still have all my books like I have my anatomy and physiology books, I have my micro books, I have my biology books, which I'm planning on referencing during school if I ever need to, so I have them. Um, but so my required textbooks for the first quarter were um, the Nursing Diagnosis Manual. This is um, the fifth edition and it is just dry and full of text. Second was my Physical Examination and Health Assessment. This is the seventh edition. This book is um, looks a little more interesting. It's got like pictures in it and this is like physical diagnoses. So I'm excited about this. This one looks actually interesting. Um, the one that's not here is kind of the partner of this. It's the psychiatric assessment book. So um, that's the one that's still coming. And then my last um, like textbook was um, The Fundamentals of Nursing Concepts, Process, and Practice. And so I've been kind of reading this book a little bit. I know I still have time, but I've been just like, you know, reading it slowly, kind of just getting used to nursing, because like I said in my earlier videos, I don't have my CNA, so everything's new to me. So I'm trying to get, you know, a grasp of everything, and it's interesting stuff right now, and I know I'm not overwhelmed with reading, so I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I know that'll change when school starts. And then my three other books that I have here are all kind of just gonna help me throughout all of my quarters in nursing school. These are just general books. So I have the 23rd edition of Tabor's Cyclopedic, Cyclopedic Medical Dictionary. Um, oh, like I said, I got all these on Amazon. Um, then I have the Manual of IV Therapeutics. You know, just gonna use this every quarter. And then the Davis's Drug Guide. This is the 15th edition. Oh, and the um, IV Therapeutics was the sixth edition. And these are books, these weren't on our required textbooks for the quarter, but are like recommended general textbooks. So um, I bought all three of those. Right now at books, I think by buying books on Amazon and not going through my school, I think I've saved roughly like two to three hundred dollars. So it's been kind of a new process of me ordering books on Amazon, but it's been really worth it. And so that's what I'm gonna plan on doing throughout the rest of my quarters unless uh, something happens, you know, I can't find a book or don't have enough time or something like that. So those are all my textbooks.
And then last but not least, I have like all my school supplies that I plan on using. So um, first I have my flashcards. I have two different sizes here. I have the four by six and then the three by five. I've used these for um, my anatomy and physics class and I just plan on being able to use these. I, I got the bigger ones here to help um, like with illustrating pictures and things because I found this got pretty tight if I needed to draw anything. So um, I like to draw and and I'm a very visual learner, and so I feel like these might be really helpful for my studying, having the bigger ones, so we'll see how that goes. Um, just got a packet of um, correction tape, you know, to either on my note cards or my permanent notebook, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, these are just, you know, little handy guys. Um, one of the few required um, school supplies, like everything besides, like my books, my scrubs, my stethoscope, my, and my watch, Everything else I've showed you has been optional, like, just for me personally. Um, but this is one of the, like, only required, like, school supplies of just, like, a small notebook that you can put into your pocket for labs and clinicals and things like that. So I got two of these guys. I'm going to see how I like them. Like I said, I don't know what to expect. I, this is my first quarter, and everybody learns different. So the people I've talked to who have taken the program, you know, they say, everybody kind of just finds what works for them. You settle into your groove. And so I think these will be nice. They've got plenty of room to write. Um, they can tear out sheets, opens easily, so I have two of these guys, they fit in my pocket and my scrubs. Um, for just like a general, I just have like some general like loose notebooks that I can rip pages out. Um, this will be just, you know, handy during class and uh, doing homework and practicing problems and scenarios, so that's this. And then I got a bunch of comp books because I stated in one of my earlier videos, I think it was how to be successful in anatomy and physiology, um, was I use a comp book as like my master notes. Uh, this is what I do is I'll take any sort of notes that I have either here or um, in my little notebooks or different things like that, and I'll compile my master notes. So this will be a very um, cleanly written notes. This isn't gonna be scribbles and crossing out. This is gonna be like, almost like my study guide for that whole chapter or unit or whatever and then I'll make my study guides from this so huge way I learned is by taking notes in class then copying recopying my notes into this book because this is really just kind of a concrete like I'm seeing it I'm writing it I'm seeing it again I'm writing it again and that just constantly putting things into memory um, uh, so I have the comp books, um, I have just a pack of highlighters, um, I wasn't like a huge highlighter in, in my prereq classes, but people say highlighters are super helpful and so I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them for a couple bucks and so um, I'll be using these. My idea with these at least for sure is to highlight like the corner of my flashcards to kind of keep things separated. And then my favorite pen that I use during your school is the G2, is the Pilot G2. Um, I have a bunch of different colors. These aren't even all my colors, but these just write really smoothly. Uh, I like to draw pictures or um, highlight different things, and I like to do that with colored pens as opposed to the highlighters. But um, these are just uh, these were so awesome during anatomy and physiology and all my different classes. Whether you're drawing, you know, a cell or part of the body, and you need to differentiate things. I love these. Um, I also use these like in like when I'm writing out my notes for um, different like parts of the text to like show the importance of things. I just have a pack of number two pencils. And I think that's all my supplies. I am so excited to start school. I know that I'm gonna probably be so beyond stressed and wanna cry and quit and all these things, but I am just, I want to document the excitement that I have about this. It's something I've been working for for so long. And to finally like feel like I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, even though this is the hardest part of my schooling so far. I'm just so excited. I'm ready. I've been um, thinking about like what my schedule's gonna look like and I'm so excited to keep you guys posted and to inform you guys. Thanks so much for going on this journey with me and I hope you just have a wonderful day and if you're applying to programs or you're in a program or you're already a nurse, like good luck and how exciting is this? This is just such a dream profession of mine and I'm just so excited. All right, well have a great day everybody. Thanks for watching.